Hi there, welcome back to Typefills channel. Today we are shaking things up with three advanced illustrator techniques that will take your logo designs from meh to wow. I am going to show you how to create these logos using the brush tool, the repeat radio option and the blend tool. My name is Jan Dutters, also known as Typhoon, and on this channel I help logo and brand identity designers to make their design life easier by sharing my experiences and knowledge. And for this video, I will see you guys in my Illustrator document. Hey guys, here we are in my Illustrator document. And these three logo designs I'm going to reproduce to show you guys how it's done. So this first one is done with the uh, radio option. Second one is done with the blend tool. And the third one is done with the brush tool. So let's start with the first one. So as we can see, it exists of three equal shapes. First thing we are going to do is to recreate one shape and then we are going to apply the radio effect to it. So first thing we want to do is create a rectangle, which, we, which basically will be the flat part of the shape. And then we are going to press on the plus, add an extra anchor point. And we are going to drag this down so it makes this corner to the object right and i'm going to decrease this part a little bit so i think this looks quite equal to me i'm going to extend the size a little bit no it doesn't actually so this way I can see how the shape looks and I'm going to decrease this part a little bit more I'm going to increase this point so it matches more the uh, the uh, shape we are trying to recreate so I'm going to give it a black fill color again get rid of the outline and now we are going to add the radio effect to it so select the object, go to object, go to repeat and radio. So now we want to drag this one in. And we only would like three objects. Okay. And if we select the shape and we double click on it, I can see I have to rotate the shapes to create a similar brand mark. I'm going to drag this down a little bit and what it basically does is you can adjust one shape and it applies it to all the shapes in the radio effect okay now we want to make the intersection over here so it cuts out basically this part of the shape okay what we are going to do is I'm going to select this shape eh? I'm going to select this line and I'm going to press on command C. Now I'm going to click out of the shape, select the brand mark again and double click on the bottom part and press on command V over here. What we want to do is we want to lay this part over here so we can get rid of this part. Press on shift M, hold the option to delete the part and it, what it does, it basically deletes the part for all shapes, which is quite good. We want to round this corner a little bit. And was it, what it does, it rounds all the, all three the shapes. So here is the first brand mark done with the radial tool. Let's move on to this one. The second one is, as you can see, done with the blend tool and it has a hexagon form. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a, a polygon, I mean. I'm going to create a polygon form and it should point upwards. And I want to get rid of the fill color and give it a stroke color. I want to copy this hexagon by pressing, by selecting the polygon, pressing Command C, Command Shift V, and we are going to scale 
this 50% down. Press on OK. And for these parts, eh, these circles will be on the corners of the polygon. But in the middle, we also have a circle. And therefore, I'm going to add um, guidelines so I can see where to add, eh, where the middle is of the, um, the, this line over here. So we are going to select the line segment tool and we are going to drag one line to the top. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uh, circles on the line. So we are going to duplicate this line by selecting the rotate tool and holding option and press on the center of the polygon. This gives us the option um, uh, to uh, rotate the object, the line in this case. And we are going to um, add the values 360 degrees divided by 12. Press on shift, That's, this makes 30. And we are going to press on copy. Now we can copy it 12 times by pressing on command D and now we can add the circles to the ellipse. Give it a fill color. We can press on command Y to see the uh, outlines and we can duplicate these on the corners and on the guidelines. Okay, so for the hexagon in the middle, we only want to add uh, circles on the corners okay and we want to add one in the middle and by the way I'm copying these by selecting them and dragging them with holding option to the other side so by holding option it basically copies the shape oh this one isn't in the middle exactly so okay press on command y again and now we want to get rid of all the lines all the guidelines Also the hexagon and the polygon lines. Okay, so now we have these circles. We are going to group them. Press on command C, command option shift V. We copied and pasted the same objects. Drag them in and give them a white fill color. Send them to the back by pressing on command shift and open bracket. And now we have basically two shapes, uh, the white circles and the black circles. We're going to select them both, go to object, blend and make. Go to object, again, blend, blend options, specified steps and give it a hundred steps. And as you can see, we have recreated this brand mark and we can still adjust the shapes you can also double click and select the black circles and drag these somewhere else and it's, it keeps following the same blend so this is looks quite good as well actually <coughs> okay so you can play around with that you can basically create any shape uh, 
squares, circles, rectangles and apply this blend to it. Let's move on to the third logo, which is basically being created huh, with lines. So for this one, we are going to create a brush tool. And we want to have uh, wider black lines than white ones. So we are going to create a first one black rectangle and drag it with holding shift and option to the right side. We are going to increase this a second one by half size and we are going to add a white fell color to it. Select both rectangles and drag them with holding option and alt again to the right side. Press on command D and we want something like, mm, let's do this, Three, four, five, six, seven lines. Get rid of the last white line. So this is the basic shape for our brush. Go to a window, go to brushes. And over here we already have one brush created. But I'm going to drag this one in the brushes panel. And we want to make an art brush from it. Press an OK. Now we are going to recreate this form of the number one with parts only. So for the top part, I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to add a black fill color to it. And I'm going to get rid of the white fill color. Okay, and I'm going to delete these two parts. So we only have one fourth of the circle left. I'm going to drag this to the left a little bit. Now I'm going to select the line segment tool and I'm going to, to drag a line to the bottom. And again, we want uh, one quarter of a circle on the bottom part as well. And therefore we are going to copy this shape and transform it and reflect it vertically. And we can put this one over here and now we want to select now we want to select these both anchor points and press on command J this adds these anchor points together okay and now we are going to drag one horizontal line for the bottom part of the number one we want to extend it to this point over here so it's nicely in balance and now the interesting part we select all the shapes and press on the R brush <laughs> okay this looks quite funny we are going to decrease the size of the R brush to 0.5 and as you can see it already starts to uh, have a nice form. We are going to add this one to the top. Drag it to the right a little bit. We are going to add this one to the bottom. So here we have it, our number one. And it's interesting because this art brush you can apply to any sort of path or shape and it creates really awesome um, right forms with it so it's really cool hey if you watch this video all the way through you've probably already seen this video where i transformed seven of my logo design sketches into vector designs in adobe illustrator if you haven't checked that video out yet make sure to give it a watch for even more illustrator tips don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates. Keep creating, keep designing, and we'll catch you in the next video.